Not only do we need to be sure we meet the essential fat needs of the body, we also need to ensure we have adequate B12 in our diet. Fortunately, Dr. Michael Donaldson joined the staff of Hallelujah Acres a few years ago. Dr. Donaldson is a graduate of Cornell University with a PhD degree in chemical engineering. One of his early projects was a study on the B12 issue. He took a group of folks that had been following the Hallelujah diet for at least two years. Out of this group of folks, he found that almost 50% of them were deficient in vitamin B12. In looking at the research, he began wondering why were some folks deficient and other people were not when they were eating a very comparable diet. Back uh, even a few decades ago, when man was growing his own produce, we would harvest it out of our garden, we would wash it, and then eat that produce as the way we harvest it. We were not so overly concerned with sanitation, E. coli, and many of the other bacteria that we are today. Today, our produce is commercially grown. It's been grown in soil that has had a lot of chemical additives added to it. The bacterial activity in the soil is really deficient. And not only is the bacterial activity deficient, the produce is highly sanitized to ensure that we're not getting the harmful bacteria in our foods. So we don't have a good source of the bacteria in our diet. Even a few decades ago, people were drinking well water and spring water, and they were getting bacteria into the body that kept the friendly bacteria built up. A healthy gastrointestinal tract will contain as much as three and a half to four pounds of bacteria. The friendly bacteria should be predominant. But unfortunately, many people are deficient in the friendly bacteria, and as a result of that, they're deficient in vitamin B12. So the best way to ensure that we don't develop a B12 deficiency is to use the methylcobalamin form of B12 in a sublingual supplement. One half of a caplet dissolved under the tongue two or three times a week will ensure that we don't develop a B12 deficiency.